Well, police say 25 year old Tanisha Richardson died of a stab wound to the neck during an attack at a northeast side apartment complex. Uh, Alicia Lampkin is charged with murder now. ABC 21's Jeff Newmeyer has more and looks at how homicide investigators have changed tactics recently to try to make more arrests. Police found a broken knife handle and blade at the scene. Court papers say Richardson was the new girlfriend of a man living at the complex. He told police Lampkin, his old girlfriend and mother of his child, came over and pounded on his door after sending texts that read, come outside or I'm popping Tanisha's tires, all four. The man told Richardson to ignore her, don't go outside. But he told officers when he went to take a shower, he saw Richardson head for the door. He hurried outside, claiming in a matter of seconds, the women were, quote, wrapped up and that when he went to separate them, he noticed all the blood. He said he looked at Tanisha and noticed she, quote, wasn't there. A next door neighbor we spoke with relayed the same thing. He was trying to pick her up to make sure to see if she'd be stay conscious, but she didn't. She's just had that far out look. Lamkin, who claimed self-defense, fled the scene in a car, but a homicide detective en route pulled her over and took her into custody. She admitted the knife was hers. Fort Wayne City homicide investigators really can't do much to keep violent crimes from happening, but once they do, they now have a new strategy to try and better nail down arrests. Detective Sergeant Tim Hughes, who heads up the homicide division now, says a couple of years ago in a fatal shooting, stabbing, or assault, a lead investigator would get help from four or five other detectives, but after eight to ten hours, those support detectives would return to their regular assignments, leaving the lead investigator to mostly work alone. Since the second half of 2018, a homicide takes place, 8 to 12 investigators are thrown into the case and keep working until they feel the trail goes cold. If we have a homicide Friday night, we can't wait until Monday morning to start working on it. We have to, if we have to work all through the weekend, night and day, that's what we need to do. Hughes says 25 of 29 homicide cases in the city in 2019 have resulted in arrests or were cleared in some other way. He says the same thing about 7 of 8 so far in 2020. Jeff Newmeyer, ABC 21. Well, Detective Sergeant Hughes says with the more intense commitment of resources to those homicide cases, officers are looking now out for each other, sometimes escorting fellow officers home to get some sleep when that work becomes exhausting.